Hey everyone, welcome back to Tutor Need Families where we do the research so you don't have to. And today we are gonna be looking at replacing the vent lid on your RV. So um, what we're gonna do is just kind of show you what we started with. You can see there's actually a couple holes, one right there, one over here. Um, so as I shut this, you know, I, I was worried about some rain getting there, especially with the winter coming up. Just wanna get up there, get that replaced. So um, we're gonna show you just how we're gonna do that and how easy and quick it is after this. Okay, so um, what you wanna make sure of is that you get the right lid when you're looking for replacement. This is a 14 by 14. It's a pretty standard one. Um, the main thing is the type of hinge. And um, these ones, they have these little tabs on the end. You can see how it's separated. And you just bend those out to keep it um, from coming off side to side. I'll show you that in just a second. But um, so that's what we're gonna be doing here. All I need on the inside is just um, a drill to take out these screws here. There's four of them. And then there's gonna be a couple screws, one here and one on this side, and then one to get this handle off to drop the screen. And you just need that because you actually gotta get to these two screws up in here. Pull that down so you can actually get the um, the lever off of the lid itself, but then from there it's just going up and swapping that out real quick. So Liam's here, he's gonna help hold the camera. Just gonna take these out real quick. Just drop out like that, so that's just a shroud. Now you'll see in here, we just got these uh, two screws on the end, so um, you'll need just a little bit longer bit to get up in there. Um, Otherwise, you won't have clearance. We'll see if I have a long enough one here. So, that longer bit's not going to work. I'm actually going to use a Phillips, uh, a really long one to get up in there. And do this one by hand. Just take a second longer, but it's kind of difficult to get a, a drill up in there. So. And then I'm just going to take this handle off right here. All right, a couple of minutes, I mean, you got that off, but then uh, we just got these two screws we got to take out there. So we'll take this one out. And just slide this down back. You can see that it just pops out like that. Slide it right out the slot right here. Be careful because this piece right on the end, this does come off, so don't lose that. And the orientation, you want to make sure that Kind of goes back in that same way, make it sure it slides easily. So now that's free up there. You'll see when we go up top that that's gonna come off um, pretty quickly. Okay, thank you, Liam. All right, so we're up here on the roof and um, we've got a, uh, the original that's still on there. This is the the new replacement. So this is just called a vent line um, lid for this type of hinge. You can just see it's this long hinge here. I'll show you that in a second. In our next video, I'll show you how to put on these uh, vent covers, which um, allows you to keep these open, ventilated, even if you're going down the road or even if it's raining. And they're pretty nice. But um, you can see that. I don't know if just rocks came up here and nailed these, but um, I mean, it's just pretty deteriorated with the sun up here. Okay, so you'll see that these tabs right here are just bent out. I'm just gonna open this one up. And then it's just gonna slide right off. So you bend it out, it's just gonna open up, but then when you put it on, you'll just curl it in like that and that'll keep it from going past that lip on the inside right there. So that's really just how they secure on. Um, let me just throw the new one on here real quick. So I'm just gonna slip this one right back on. And then take your pliers. I'm just gonna bend that in. Okay, so 
So those are never gonna be up more than about like that. And now with those bent in a little bit, it locks it into place. It's a nice, good fit. This is a nice seal. You wanna check these out, make sure that these aren't cracking anywhere so you have a nice, good seal. That's pretty much it. So we're gonna go back down, put everything back together. Just put that hinge assembly back on and put the screen and the shroud and everything back in. And then you'll be all set to go. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this all back together. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that through the slot right there. It's pretty easy. I mean, it took us maybe half an hour to pull all this down, get up there and um, get everything swapped out up top as well. Um, but overall, it wasn't very difficult. Um, if you have some of these older vent lids that are just getting brittle and cracked, um, that's how you replace those. Um, leave us some comments. Tell us what you like. If you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Um, but that's it from Tourney Families. We'll see you next time.